Aspen allows you to use a curriculum mapping tool. Simply go to change view and go to the district view. Once you're in the district view, click on the assessment top tab. Go to the curriculum maps side tab. Once you're in the curriculum maps, locate the curriculum map for um, your curriculum area or for your course. I'd like to work on grade four writing version 2.0. Once you get into the details of the curriculum map, click on the chart side tab. The chart side tab will show you the curriculum map that is there. If you click on the show lesson plans, you'll actually be able to see any lesson plans that have been added to the curriculum map. You can add lesson plans to each of the curriculum map. Simply click on a topic. Topics will be in blue or subtopics will be in red. So I would like to work in narrative writing. So I am going to add a lesson plan by clicking on the Add button, dragging to Add Lesson Plan. I will get the lesson plan template. I am then able to give the, ten the lesson plan a title. So I am going to call this um, Sharing within the workshop and it's going to start on day three and it's one lesson and I can go in and work within the lesson plan template to click on an area to work within it you just click and you'll get a rich text editor and you can go in and make any changes that you'd like. So I'm going to call this sharing within the writing the writer's workshop. When you click away or go to another box, it automatically saves. You can click the save button whenever you'd like, and that will save as well. The revert button will undo one of your uh, previous changes. Um, you can also add resources within each of the um, template areas. So notice there's a, a resource for um, the title, a resources area for instructional like outcomes, and so on and so forth. I could go in and click on materials. And if I had any resources, I can go get them from my resources. Um, if I don't have a resource in here already listed, I could go in and add a resource. So I could click Add and go in and add a resource. Um, if you notice, there are some resource um, items that have a globe icon on the folder. That means that that's a shared um, resource. So the special education, standards-based report cards, those are resources that are shared globally. Um, educator evaluate, evaluation site is as well. Um, so you can go in and pick a resource from right in here if you wanted to or you could add one. So if I knew that this praise question polish was part of the sharing um, lesson, I could take it and just drag it and dump it right into my um, repository area. And that means that it's available for everyone now. And I could even make this available for the teachers, the praise, question, and polish explanation for teachers. I can close this out. And what this does now is this saves this for um, my lesson and anyone who comes in here will have access to that information. I could go in and also add the standards to this. So if I click edit, I'm going to get all of the standards. And right, right now when I created this um, curriculum map, 
it knew that I was working in language arts for grade four. If I needed to, I could go to show all, and it's going to bring me right to the back, right? Right to the very beginning. And I could say, okay, this is a common core standard. And then I'll go through this tree of kind of whittling down the standards that I want to look at. So it's an English language arts standard. It's in grade four. And I'm dealing with um, speaking and listening here. And I can go through and review each of the um, speaking and listening, whether they're comprehension and collaboration or presentation of knowledge and ideas. When I mouse over a standard, if there's more information, I can click on it and it'll show me. So this standard um, will be listed where it says, comes to discussions prepared, having read or studied required material, explicitly draw on that preparation and other information known about the topic to explore ideas under discussion. And I think that that's one of the, the standards that I want to work on in that lesson. Um, there's also a, um, a standard here which says followed agreed upon rules and carry out assigned roles. And that's actually another standard that makes a lot of sense during sharing time in a writer's workshop. So I can go through and identify all of the standards. And once I click on them, they actually show up here. So if I click OK, those standards are in my lesson plan now. And if I click on the print button, it gives me a preview of what this looks like, um, what this will look like when it, we print it out. So right now, the only thing that I have in here is sharing within the writer's workshop. Um, so I am going to X out of here and click Save and Close. And what happens is it'll take this lesson and add it within my series of lessons now. So now I can actually go in and see that I have a lesson here. I can print this part of the curriculum map out as well. So if I click on that subtopic and click View, it goes through and here's everything that deals with narrative writing. It starts on day one and lasts for 60 days. And I can go through and review the basic format or, or the actual pacing of those 60 days. And then I can go through and see these are all the standards that are being addressed. And I could also go back out to the main topic of grade four writing and click view here. And it will go through and give me the entire map. And if I scroll through to narrative writing, I can see the lessons that I started to write as well. So on day one, here's the lesson on starting or launching the writer's workshop. And if I scroll through, I can see day two. And then finally, what I just created, sharing within the writer's workshop. And I only have a title here and then the standards as well that I created. So the curriculum mapping tool allows teachers to really build lessons and share those with each other. And these will be available in your planner once the lessons have been saved and the curriculum map is activated. So again, simply to get to the curriculum mapping tool, you go into the district wide view. From the district wide view, you click on the assessment top tab. From the assessment top tab, you click on the curriculum maps side tab. Locate the curriculum map that you would like to edit or add lessons to and click on it. Click on the chart side tab. And then you can go ahead and add topics, subtopics, or lessons to the curriculum map. 